first time to boot but Sura Linux you will get this screen it will basically expand the partition so if you uh, flash my one terabyte to a larger hard drive or any hard drive also one terabyte will expand to the maximum partition size so uh, for example four terabytes you will have uh, uh, the one terabyte from my build and then the other three terabytes will be available to copy the ROM packs so this screen you should get on the first boot if you flash my image if it does not appear yeah then something is going wrong and we get to the boot screen and as you can see it's booting Hi guys, welcome. This is my new image based on Balasera 36. It's basically um, yeah, all of the stuff I've got in my Balasera 35 image, but I added some really nice things uh, in this uh, new build. This is of course the Motion Blue Unified Revamped by RGS, and that's me. Um, so yeah, the project is still based on the PyPiggy, select what you want. Uh, like in my previous video, I told you all about it. And yeah, this is just an update. Um, so I made a new image completely from scratch, copied over all the content from Bar 35 and added some new stuff. Um, I also released an update pack. So if you have already the RGS 35 build, you can use a grid pack to uh, yeah, use Bodicera to update and copy over all the stuff in the update pack and you are you basically have the same image. You miss a few things, but yeah, it's like the built-in stuff I, I deleted on the Bodicera 35, but I enabled it on this one. So if you download this image, you'll have the latest and greatest. And you don't have to do anything manually. It's all set up, like all the emulators are configured, all the ROM lists are configured the right way. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, have a quick look. This is going to be a short video. I will just scroll through all the systems. And yeah, then you will have a good idea of uh, what it's all about. Let's go. Also enabled a few uh, nice uh, game lists like the light gun section, arcade vertical games I had a question about. I enabled Capcom, CP1, CP2, CP3. So it's more sep you have a more separated main set because it's a very large uh, set and uh, to have it like this, uh, yeah, the, the Capcom games are great of course, so uh, it's really nice to have them uh, yeah, in a separate list. And like all of the systems, they do have uh, the real art. Most of them have the box art and uh, the videos. I made sure that at least every system has at least a few videos so that uh, the, uh, the look and feel of the system list is, uh, is complete with, with videos, as you can see. Yeah, we got the Atari Jaguar CD. Some really uh, cool systems over here because uh, they included the big PMU emulator, so we could add the Jaguar CD collection. As you can see, it looks really nice with the box art. Uh, this one is uh, pretty complete. There's all the videos, all the box art, all the CD art, and the wheels. The new system that's the Commodore C128. Also added the custom box art or yeah, cartridge slash box art. It's not really much online to uh, to download, but I found this really nice set. I thought it was yeah pretty pretty nice for for this build, so I included it. Also the wheel art is complete. 
Now we have the Pico 8, it's a new system I've added, found a good uh, source and uh, I just added all the games and uh, did a manual um, manual wheel art. I found the font of the Pico 8 and I just used that to create the, this wheel art. I think it, look, it looks really good. They have uh, like the cartridge art and the screenshot, it's included. Some of them have videos. But uh, I think it likes 20% has videos and 80% has just images. But it's really hard to find uh, videos for the Pico 8. So I just use the screen scraper and this is all what I got. Okay, let's see. Yeah, of course, we have now the Xbox 360. Um, because this is like a port, no, it's it's, it's it's really emulation inside of emulation, I think. It uses Wine to uh, run uh, Xenia. And Xenia must be in Vulkan mode in order to, yeah, to um, render the images because, of course, uh, Linux does not support OpenGL. Or DirectX, I'm sorry, DirectX. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of XBLA games on here. Actually, they have all XBLA games except for this one. It's Golden Eye. It's a CD-based game, DVD-based game. It's the unreleased version of Golden Eye. So I've put it put it on here. Uh, I also tested a few other CD-based, uh, DVD-based games, but yeah, they didn't run very well. So like the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which is supposed to run really great on Windows. I tested it on Windows many times. Also, four-player mode. Single player mode works, uh, works really perfect, one of the best like uh, modern Call of Duty games that you can run. But here, sadly, it doesn't run. It has graphical glitches, it lags. Uh, also, in my, um, yeah, on my um, higher demanding systems, it, it also lags. So uh, I left it out and also and included a good uh, set of um, Xbox Live Arcade games. So here you go. Like this stuff is already in it. You can see all the custom systems are also back. With the Famicom, Super Famicom. And then we have the Wii, the Wii U. It uses a new emulator. Oh, actually not new, but it, don't, don't it doesn't use wine anymore, so you don't have that layer of uh, Compatibility uh, between the emulator and the operating system. So uh, the Wii U will give a boost in performance. Actually, it will boost a lot because on my system, they, it just responds, it's snappier, like it, it plays better. Or, uh, like Smash Brothers, it didn't use to lag, but uh, yeah, now it feels kind of yeah, like it's supposed to be. Almost like the real thing. Added the Lutro pack. This one has also the complete box art, wheel art, and videos. So that's really nice. Also, a sort of a uh, fantasy like uh, console thing. I added ports. Um, we have now uh, the wheel art that is in, in line with my, my box, uh, my wheel art for the. Yeah, for the port games like the Mr. Boom. You can use Udi Commander, but yeah, you don't really need it. Prince of Persia, Super Mario War. Make sure that it's a screenshot. And now you can use the update switch. I enabled it also. And what this does is you can just press it, like play, and then it will download the newest Yuzu and uh, Ryu Jinx uh, versions of the emulator and also the new scripts that you need to run it on Watcher. So just press it and it will update the latest But In this build I made sure that uh, the emulator it, that's in here, it runs all the games that are in here so you don't really need to do it. But if you want to add your own games and it doesn't run, just update the emulator and try again. I see 3000 is back. Um, 
Yeah, I've added also the Sega MSU. Found a really nice pack and also a really nice box art, as you can see. It's like the MSU logo on it. It's yeah, not not real of course, but so, somebody made it. I found this wrong back on uh, M Emmy movies, I think. So it's all the games. It's all in uh, okay. Yeah. Like all of this stuff is included again. So I had to cut down on some of the ROM lists because yeah, I had to add PS Vita and Xbox 360 and that, that will take up a lot of space. So I cut down on the 3DO and the Sega CD. They now will be released as a separate ROM pack. And this build only has the, like, the top 10 of those uh, consoles. But it is to make room for uh, newer uh, consoles. So the PS Vita is on here and yeah, like I said the Xbox 360. And the S Sega MSU, it will take up a lot of space too. So I wanted to include that because it, those consoles are harder to add manually than Sega CD or 3DO. They are just copy paste. With the PS Vita you have to go into settings, you have to set up the emulator. I did it already in this build, so you don't have to worry about it. Just run the games and it should run fine. So I added the Laser 310, I've been busy collecting the videos for this. Uh, yeah, it really takes a long time to capture all of those videos, but yeah, they are in here. Also the wheel art, I made a custom wheel art for it. Yeah, and uh, we're almost at the end, yeah. Here we go. And like all of the games are 2600, 26,000, more or less. There are some double games, of course. You have the disc one, disc two with the Apple systems, and the Commodore systems have disc one, and side A, side B, etc. I can't get around it. So, uh, yeah. So, like I said, it's uh, 145 systems actually. Hmm. Still a few grouped systems, like the ports. I like it to be grouped because yeah, you don't want this to be a game list with only one game in it. It's just silly. So I grouped them together in the ports. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. This is a really nice system, by the way. It uses an i7. Sixty-seven hundred enormous CPU. It's not the K version. And there's an uh, NVIDIA GT ten thirty. Really nice. Can run uh, up to Wii U games, Switch games. So um, yeah, really happy with this build. This is one of the most stable builds I had in a while. But so thirty-five was pretty stable. Now with PS Vita and Xbox 360 already in it, uh, and there's a Simu emulator on native Linux, it's uh, probably going to uh, stay with me for a very long time. This build, because uh, also it's a very complete ROM set now. You have really a lot of systems. So yeah, I'm gonna be very happy with this. I'm gonna play it. Um, I need to release some uh, of the packs like Xbox OG, I need to release it and like the Wii pack is on the way but um, currently my ISPs are uh, a bit of blocking me so uh, uh, how do you say it, uh, fair use policy <laughs> enabled of something. Um, yeah so it will come but uh, it has to wait a while, um, I'm sure you can understand. So okay uh, guys this is it, enjoy this build. Uh, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my Patreon if you can, uh, if you can support me and uh, join Discord and I will talk to you over there. Okay, bye bye.